Hi everyone, it's Steve on the Guru Bro. Today we're going to talk about flash drives and the way to properly eject these or take them out of the computer. You know, being around computer repair and talking with just average people that use their computer, I soon realized that uh, a lot of people don't know that there's a way that you're supposed to take these out. Most people, when they're done with them, they'll just grab them and pull them out. And I can tell you that will lead to errors, and especially when you don't want it to happen to you. It'll happen, and this thing will become corrupt, and it won't work anymore. Or you might lose pictures or something like that. It's, uh, it's not good when it happens, and generally, to get this thing back in working order, you have to reformat it, which can be a real pain. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to properly eject this, and of course this is for beginners. Now if you don't know how to use a flash drive, I want to put a link up here. And I have a video that I did a while back that will explain exactly how to use one of these flash drives for beginners. These are also called thumb drives. So let me go ahead and put this on my computer and then I'll show you how to properly eject it. Okay, I put the flash drive in and you can see it popped up here. Now as far as putting it in, there's really no rules to putting it in. You just uh, have the computer running and then you can insert it into the USB port. And you can see that mine's ready to be used now and I can open it for viewing. Now the quickest way to remove it is to come here where it says the name of the drive it says removable disk k okay and if you right click using your right hand mouse button there's a item here called eject and if you left click on eject you can see down here it now says save to remove hardware let me go ahead and pull that out of there and put it back in and i'll show you a different way to do it Okay, so I removed it and I put it back in so I could show you a couple different ways. Now, if you have an XP computer or a Vista, generally you won't be able to remove it like I did here on the side of um, where it lists the drives here. But uh, XP's and Vista's, you can find it down here near the clock. And if I hover over these little icons, you can see what each one does. And there's a little arrow here, if I click that, I get more that are hidden. And if, like I said, I just hover over them, and the one I'm looking for is right here. It's called Safely Remove Hardware and Eject Media. And if I click on that, this little window pops up, and it asks me which one I want to remove, and it's the K. So if I hit Eject storage media here you can see I've got that message again and now it is again safe to go ahead and pull that out of there so anyway there it is it might be a simple thing for most if you already know about this but if you don't you're new to computers or you just never really played around with flash or uh, memory cards before you might not know this and that's why i'm doing this video so i hope that helped you out thanks for watching i hope this video helped you out if it did please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish if you have your own question that you would like answered please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website click on the ask a tech link and leave a question and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show so thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.